What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Many people out here are delusional about their mating options. Men and women. I'm going in on everybody today. Because many people, not just not just men, not just women, delusional about what they're going to get. I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with the men first, say the women for last. Reason why women are way more delusional. But you got a lot of men who are delusional out here. Like, let's just be real. Even in these spaces. When men, like, pick up books or uh, try to see what they can do to get, like, uh, the more physically attractive women. Because let's be real. Dudes be wanting dimes out here. Which there ain't nothing wrong with that overall. But wanting to dime, but you not don't have any attractive things yourself is a problem, especially for the men. You know, they be wanting to dime, but they average at best. The men are average at best. You don't even have sex appeal or money. Let's be real. Even though uh, several times I've talked about having... Uh, you know, being able to get women without money. Those are guys who got some sex appeal. All right. Everybody else got to have a little bit of money you want to die. Or, you know, you got to have something up there. But you get some men don't have that. Indeed, one of the things that get on my nerves is when you get some, uh, you talk about what it takes to get women. Some guys be like, well, it's just money. Okay, what are you doing to make money, bam? <laughs> Shit. Shit, what are you doing to make money? This be one some shit is like, okay, you don't want to engage in body game, don't want to do anything. Okay, so what are you doing to make money? And yes, I still say, and I will always say, you just being a trick, but shit, if you want to be a trick, that's on you. You can't hang out with me, though. <laughs> it's just that simple. You can't hang out with me. But seriously, 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 think about it. It was like, okay, but dudes be on some broke shit. Or barely making ends meet. Talking about they want that top-notch woman. Delusional. Or they don't want to do anything to improve their sex appeal. You know, they come against me when I talk about body gang. They like, oh, it don't matter, it don't matter. And then they, they'll say themselves they average looking. Not even the women saying it. They'll say themselves. Okay. What you expect then? But they expect... They want to somehow get that beautiful woman. I've heard some guys say that shit, and I'm thinking to myself, well, dude, uh, okay, so what you offering her? Because you got to have shit. If you want to get the best women, other than a lottery shot, and what a lottery shot is, you just happen to click with her personality. Even then, she still might friend zone you. Come on now, think about it. A beautiful woman got all these options. She got options of the sexiest men. The best looking men, because looks and sex appeal ain't the same thing. I've talked about that before. You know, she either get the sexiest men, the best looking men, or the men who got serious money. Now, if you don't got those three, but still want, like, that dime, something wrong with you. You ain't staying in your lane. Now, there are plenty of guys who do stay in their lane. Like I said, as a group, men tend to be more realistic. A man know he average, so he get an average woman. You know, they don't be on these spaces. They, they shoot. Like that joke from uh, Mad TV back in the day. It was like lowered expectations and stuff. That dude know he about 300 pounds. So, he, you know, he ain't, get, he ain't looking for no swimsuit model. Now, the ones who's 300 pounds and looking for a three swimsuit model and don't have money, don't have any type of status. No, nah, he, ain't, he, ain't he ain't getting that uh, tight body woman. He ain't getting it. Like I say, the only way is a lottery shot is uh, is if their personality just clicked to that extent. And even then, she still got to like what she look like to sex, have sex with that dude. They still got, the woman still got to like his body. So, you know, that's, she. that's just one. Like I say, men tend to be more realistic. Women are worse, way worse. You get some women wanting some... You get some women all out of shape, plain looking, out of shape, funky ass attitude, thinking they should get a man making half a million. Please, please, please. 
And they want him in certain professions too. I be listening to some of man. I wouldn't even any guys listening to what some of these women are saying online shouldn't even take them seriously. Women talking about she want a man making half a million. She plain Jane and everything. She because think about it. Okay, first of all, if a man making some of the pickiest men, once a man make money, he want that trophy on his arm. It's rare. Only time you see him without a trophy on his arm is if some woman happened to be with him when he didn't have money. That's why I tell women, you want that half a million dollar guy, it's better you find a guy who got the potential to get there and help him. And then hope he'll still be loyal. Because a lot of women do complain. They'll say, yeah, he'll get up there and then get us a tighter body woman. Okay, keep your body tight. Like, you got all these women up here talking about they want to manifest a man and all doing all these rituals and everything. And I told a woman this recently. I said, shoot, they want that man. It's best they find something to make. They, they work their body so their butt look real good in that dress. And cook a meal. <laughs> I was telling some other people that, too. I said, shit, we ain't difficult. You don't have to do all that shit. Your ass need to look good. Have a right attitude. Cook him a meal and fuck his brains out. Shit, eh? God, God, great pumpkin, whatever term you want to use, made us easy as fuck. But see, you get some women, they don't want to do any of that. They want to be out of shape themselves. Really, knowing they wouldn't get a modeling contract. And, you know, if a man look at them, the man be generous. Generous if he calls them a four. But they be wanting the top men. And I'm going to tell you what, sometimes, hey, some of them do get the top men from 12 to midnight. I mean, 12 to 5 in the morning. And it, trust me, the only way they get him is they got to be easy as fuck, suck his dick, all that shit. They got to be easy as fuck, because as soon as they start even giving some pushback today, he's like, oh, well. They got to be easy as fuck, and if, if they like that, trust me, if he ain't for those guys who got money, now, maybe for the sex appeal guys, because the sex appeal guys don't give a fuck. They just want the pussy. And that's usually who those women are get with. But it's extremely rare you're going to get some low-quality woman. And when I say low-quality, I don't mean just in her physicality, but also in her personality. Going to get with one of those top guys, masters of the universe, one of those money guys. Because they picky as fuck. They picky as fuck. Even the women, they, they might even just mess around with just sexually going to be a certain level. In fact, I would say if you use that number scale, they'll go for maybe a six at the lowest. That's low for them. But when they out in public and stuff, you're talking about a family, They want you want to be out in public with them? She, Your ass better be at some level. Uh-oh, you got that speed trap ready. Uh-uh, 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 I see that poor poor got the speed trap. He's setting that speed trap up. Okay, I see you, bam. Anyway. Yeah, you wanna you wanna get that type of uh those women wanna get that type of man and stuff. Shit. And don't listen to these people online. Men or women don't need to listen to these people online until you can get that. If they ain't telling you to do some work or they head say, well, you can say this line to them, you can get them. Yeah, they'll get all that money, give you some bullshit. Shit. Like I said, for the men, they better have sex appeal, very good looks, or a lot of money that they're willing to trick off to get those women. And you don't want to be in that position where you're tricking it off. And then for the women, shh, she, she. Let's just be real, because men, we don't have a problem saying it's looks. They better get their looks right. Seriously. <laughs> we don't have a problem. Like, women might bullshit about it. And women look at more things. Like, women look at more shit anyway. So, men men actually got a better chance of getting a woman that might be out of his league. We got a better shot. Women don't. Seriously. We don't be looking at personality. I can say it all I hate. Uncle Ron can say it all I want. Say, yeah, I can do videos on it. The average man... He might, if he look at personnel, that's only after she passed the looks threshold. That's the average man. So you think about some man. I want y'all to think about a man with some money. Think about a man making six figures. 
Because contrary to popular belief, some people be thinking all oh, men making six figures. <laughs> Please. If that was the case, we wouldn't have... We, there wouldn't be, like, complaints about the economy or some shit. You can't find a stat where uh, the highest might be 10% of men are making six figures, right? Even making six figures. And depending where they live, they still might be living paycheck to paycheck. All right, so you're talking about a man making money, he can just blow off like that? High dispensable income, shit like that? Let me see, make sure this shit ain't getting too hot yet. All right. Yeah, check my phone, y'all. But yeah, seriously. You talking a small percentage of men. Small percentage. Ten percent even saying ten percent. You know. Cause it depends on how they do it though. But let's just say ten percent. Let's be generous and say ten. It's less than that, but let we'll we'll round it up to ten. Alright. That man worked hard. I mean, we ain't talking like pro athletes or some or singers or entertainers. That's a tiny, tiny, tiny percent of the population tiny percent if you really want to talk about who making money men making money most of them they shoot they gotta have a business you know they might be a blue collar and especially a lot of these women don't even want a blue collar guy okay that's even less you talking uh, attorney doctor you know maybe a CEO something like that alright very few of those men. That man don't want to work hard to come home to some woman who look like she got a cut of slit in her moo moo. You know, look like she made shit. Looking like she, shit, looking like job of the hut and shit. He don't want that shit. I mean, I'm just being real. I'm just being real on that shit. He don't want that to come home to or a woman who. Let's just say she ain't easy on the eyes. He don't want that. Let's just say, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck when we talk about those guys. I mean, we just keeping it, we just being real. And personality wise, let's just be real. Yeah, it might be great if she's like a real sweet person, but yeah, I put it like this. If a woman don't want to fix herself up to a certain extent, because I think uh, somebody said Gloria Banville said this. He said, there ain't no ugly women, just lazy women. You got all the shit out here. So if that woman don't want to fix up for her man, he making half a million. What the fuck? He ain't trying to come home to that. He coming home. He want a fine ass woman and shit. He wants somebody fine. Shit, he working hard. Like, a lot of women don't know. They just saying they want men who making a certain amount of money. They don't know how hard he had to work for that money. That shit ain't easy. That shit ain't easy. And he sure as hell don't want to, whatever the case, regardless of looks. Like, he might skip over the looks. He might skip over the looks unless she real pleasant. Let's just be real. A lot of women, a lot of these women talking about they want that half million dollar man. You start checking them. They ain't pleasant. They ain't sweet. Because you know why? A woman who's really sweet, got a really sweet nature, she gonna have somebody, maybe not that million dollar man, but she gonna have somebody any damn way. Because there's only a small percentage of those like million, like half million dollar men. Well, I'll just say million dollar men. Might as well say that. Only a small percentage of them. But if she got sweet nature and stuff and willing to deal with that guy, he might not be making that much money. He might not make that much money, but he's, uh, You know, he got good intentions towards her. She, she probably got somebody. But you talking to a single woman, talking about... Because, you know, first of all, a woman looking for those uh, six-figure guys, you see women like that. Like, guys aren't as bad with it. Like, guys, even even the guys looking for the dimes, might, they, they might take that woman who might not be up there. Right? Might not, they might take that woman who might not be up there. You know, let's just be real. A lot of men settle, but women, they be, you be wondering, you be like, hold up, baby. Who are you looking for? They be one that uh, half million dollar man, but then have an attitude towards men who are more on her level, so they don't have a pleasant attitude. And don't and trust me, if a man get to that level of money, you can call him dumb, stupid, some people call him that. 
But he's smart enough to know, hey, if he gonna pay money, or he gotta pay out some shit, she gotta be finer than a motherfucker. Like, men aren't as bad with it. That's one thing. Like I said at the beginning, men aren't as bad. Men are more, as a group, are more realistic. You still get some who tripping, but not to, not to the same extent as women. Okay, I can turn here and everything. Not to the same extent as women. And that's, that's one thing. And like I said, it's both sides, though. Yeah, women at it greater, but you got some men. Both sides need to, like, stay in their lane. And I would say this. If you don't like your lane, man or woman, you don't like what you get. Well, shit, you self-improve. You fix yourself up. Like, any man, any man can fix himself up. Like, body game is easy. If you ain't getting what you want, with whatever your build is, you either need to lose some weight or put on something. We'll put on some muscle or some shit like that. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. Because if you ain't attracting somebody, you need, you need to work on that. And then work on, uh, as simultaneously, not even then. Work on the same time, work on your fucking personality. If you know you like hard to like deal with, you got some personality issues, you need to work on those. That's for the men. Women need to do the exact same thing because we are, are, as men, we unapologetic. You need to look good. Like I said, instead of doing all these rituals, talking about you man trying to manifest a man, shit, hit the gym. Hit the gym, take some cooking lessons and shit and deal with your personality. You'll get more men than you know what to do with. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I gotta say that. Hey, look, fuck it. I'm, I'm just gonna be raw with the women. Men, we ain't that difficult, like I said. The great pumpkin made it easy for for us, for y'all. Shit, all you had to do is look good. We, we don't give a fuck. That's why so many men get played. We don't be, most men don't look at your personality. And even the ones who do, you still need to look good for them. We ain't like women. Y'all might, might skip over some... Y'all might skip over some looks for a reason. I might skip over some looks because y'all look at everything. Women look at everything. Men, shit, we don't get past the breasts and the big old butt dunk in the face. To our problem as a group, but still, that's just how we are. We're looking at the whole picture. If a woman want a guy, she don't have to do no like crazy man, like, crazy rituals. Let me see, just get a dress and make it work out so her, that dress look good hanging off of her body. Really? Seriously. But yeah, the major issue is that whole delusional thing. To many people, to many people, they, they don't want to stay in their league. They either don't want to stay in their lane or if they want to change lanes, don't want to do the work. And that and that's what it comes down to. Okay, if you if you're a woman, you want that you want that top notch guy, hit the motherfucking gym. You know, learn to cook. And if you if you like you that type who wanna argue with men or something, trust me, a man making half a million, he gonna be like, mm, hell no. Hell no, he don't want that, he don't need that. And some women, you know it's funny with women, they try to talk about that like a man should want that. No, you know. If a man gotta work hard, he probably gotta work 60, 70 hours a week. He ain't trying to come home to no like mess. In fact, there's stories, I've heard stories over the decades of men who were married to some, like, brolic-ass or crazy-ass woman who wanted to argue sometime, and they would just be like, we ain't coming home. They would do some serious overtime, though, but they'd be like, nah, fuck that. And for the men, shit, work on your physicality, Work on your money. You know, work on being a thorough man. Work on your attractiveness. Then you can go for that top woman. Otherwise, you might need to deal with the women in your lane. And for both sides, if you ain't liking your lane or they too crazy, then, like, if you get a woman who, you know, she keep running into, she keep running into crazy men. She run into crazy men. Only thing, she, only thing they had in common was her. And same thing with a man. If a man keep running into 20 women who are no good for him, low value, the only thing they had in common was him. So for anybody, male or female, or whatever the fuck you want to identify yourself as, yeah, I said it like that. 
You still, if you want a mate, you gotta look within, no matter what. You gotta look within. I don't care who you are. If you ain't liking what you getting or or something like that, you gotta say, well, what was it about you that attracted that bad person? Yeah. You know? Because going through life being delusional, you don't have to be. Because, see, one thing with delusional people, they don't look in themselves. They, they blame everybody else. You can't do that. Hell, they might even blame they'll blame society, blame a group of men or great, blame, you know, opposite gender. You know? They'll blame whoever for their issues instead of just saying, hold up. I'm the only thing these issues had in common. So you want to change, you got to change yourself. If you, hey, ain't nothing wrong with, like I say, ain't nothing wrong with wanting that top-notch male or female. If you're a female, ain't nothing wrong with wanting that top-notch man. Ain't nothing wrong with it at all. But if you know you ain't attracting that man, you got to look in the mirror for the men. If you know you ain't, you want that top, you want that dime or something, and you ain't getting there. Or getting that real attractive woman, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror. I mean, it, it come down to it. Really, everything I'm talking is coming down to you. Everything I'm talking about is coming down to you. Yeah, you know, not everybody else. <sighs> Get in that goddamn hole. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's a hole that I don't know why they haven't fixed yet. Keep hitting that motherfucker. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, you can't be the you gotta be realistic out here. Cause uh, I'm gonna tell you what, when you get realistic all of a sudden shit open up for you. You really do. It open up for you. Or at least gives you power to do something about the situation. That's where you want to go. You want to, because, you know, one thing I always talk about is power. Well, you got power over yourself. That's the only thing you have 100% control over is yourself. You can't control other people, but if you're only attracting a certain type, you don't like it, you change. Get some stuff real quick. Gotta get my food. Yeah. Let me tell you something now. That's why. I, Cause I tried doing something a little different, keeping some food. Had to throw that shit away. Some cheese and shit. I was like, God damn. I say, oh, that got a little mold on it. I was like, oh shit. You know. Myself saving some to whenever. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong, like I said. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting what you want. But what are you doing to get that? Okay. Otherwise, if you don't want to do the work to get top notch, you're being delusional. Alright? Ain't nothing good about that. Anyway, I get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.